G'day. Today I'm going to have a quick look at fixing, doing a mod to my hotbed on my 3D printer, which should hopefully help out my hotbed stay hot and help out this ATX power supply with maintaining its 12 volts on the 12 volt output. Now, what's been going on here? I try and do a print like this. The print's broken at the moment, so I'm fixing stuff while it's on my parts. But um, yeah. The, I'm printing away and the bed gets cold and the part comes unstuck and your print's over, you know, like that's only a quick print, but if it happened 30 hours into a 40 hour print, you'd be pretty annoyed. And what's been going on, um, these ATX power supplies, as you can see, I've got all these light globes down here when I turn it on, and they're, hooked, they're 12 volt light globes hooked up across the 5 volt rail because these power supplies are designed to put out 45 amps on the 5 volt rail to run the CPU in your computer. I also put out a lot on the 3.3 um, volt rail, 223 amps. So it's mainly the 5 volt rail you want to dummy load. That's what your CPU runs on. And it's usually drawing like 20 or 30 amps as soon as you turn your computer on. Um, so that's why I've got all these loads down here. I've got a big fat one ohm resistor. That's actually on the 3 volt rail, just in case. Um, and I'm sitting here thinking, the hotbed's getting cold because it's drawing too much current because it's only running on 11 volts when everything's powered up and the hot end's running and the motors are all running and the little fuse here, it gets too hot and it triggers and then the hotbed gets cold and then the print fails and just drum and drum and drum. So, I'm thinking, all this stuff's making heat and I want more heat over here and I need to be making more heat to get this to work better. So. Let's see if we can do something about fixing all of that at once. Okay, I'm nearly all done. I've got my heating elements, bamboo and toaster wire heating elements tucked in there. They're all a bit loose. Probably can't print with it like that because something's bound to move around and short out or get too hot in one spot or do something wrong. But it's been on for a while. I've heated the bed up. I've let it cool down again. That's my temperature, 42 degrees Celsius, 41. It's flickering back and forth between the two. There's the temperature reading point there, right in the middle of the bed. I have had a bit of a feel around with the back of my hand. There are some slightly patchy places, but those elements aren't fixed evenly or accurately or anything, and I still have an extra heating element, so I can fix that. That's, and I don't think it's going to be a big deal because we're still way under print temperatures. The, the, the other element is the one that's printed into the PCB on the top side here. That's still going to get heated up, so any variation, little variations, not going to be a problem. That's just a preheater to dummy load that power supply. This is always going to be at that temperature whenever this print is turned on now. And that is just so perfect. So, uh, one last test to do is to fire up the hot end and the heat bed and see what happens to the voltage on my 12 volt rail, and you will notice it's up a bit from what it was before. So I'm going to turn them on one at a time, and I'll call them out as I do them. So heat on now, and I'll take a moment, there we go, we can see that pulling that voltage down. That's the hot end heating up, and the bed is going to go on now. And we're waiting for the reaction, it should drop some power. There we go, look at that! It's not dropping all the way down to 11.05, it's still under 12, so that extra element here is definitely going to help improve that. And I'm still stuck with all those light globes over there until I get maybe a head or high beam or something and chuck that over there, that'll fix the rest of it. The heat bed's heating, it's heating faster and more easily. The voltage isn't dropping, the fuse around here is not getting so hot. I've also redirected my fan there to blow on it a bit, so hopefully no more failed prints. I should be able to print with my print fan back here on and I've calibrated this all in and my new parts here so I'm all ready to do some prints and hopefully it goes well and I might be able to chuck on a little scene on the end or a couple of screenshots, photos or something this video is probably getting too long um, so I'd call this one a win if you need a dummy load for your ATX and you have issues with the bed not being hot enough or wanting a preheater for your bed this is the mod for you thanks for watching Oh, that worked great. I still haven't tied any of this stuff in. Yep. Got two prints out, as you can see there. First time printing that shape. First time in blue. First time with 0.4 nozzle for both of these. Everything went great. Um, this bamboo skewer toaster element heat bed mod is a winner.
this one's staying for good. Thanks for watching.